Galina. I want to tell you about something that happened in my life many years ago. I was working at the factory where I met Kalia. We started dating. Everything was good between us. Then we decided to get married. My parents gave us furniture. And with the money they gave us for the wedding, we were even able to buy a car. Everything was going great for us. And then six months later I found out I was pregnant. The question of whether to keep the baby or not, of course, was not an issue. After all, I was already 32 years old, which meant that it was high time for me to become a mother. Unfortunately, at that time specialists were not very good and not always able to recognize abnormalities of the child's development in the womb. But even if they had told me then that I would give birth to a sick child, it would not have stopped me. I would never have been able to kill my baby. The pregnancy went smoothly, and I gave birth to a baby girl on time. I was very happy. It seemed to me that the baby was absolutely healthy. But for some reason the baby was not brought to me in the evening or in the morning. When I asked the doctors why they didn't show me my baby, they sent me to my room. I endured all this for two days. Then I started screaming and demanding that they bring me my baby immediately. And the elderly nurse told me, calm down. They won't bring you your baby. You have a sickly baby girl. Your husband said that you will give her up. Who said so? My husband. Did you ask me? I am the mother and I will decide what I will do with my child. Bring me my daughter immediately. I screamed at the whole ward. They brought me my daughter. The doctors were not wrong. My baby girl had Down syndrome, but other than that she had no other diseases. The next day my husband came to see me and immediately began to talk me into giving up my daughter. He said that we were going to have another baby and that a child that sick was a burden for life. He threatened me that if I did not give up my daughter, he would simply divorce me. But I refused categorically. I couldn't abandon my own child. My husband and I divorced. Although he went around for a long time trying to convince me to give up my daughter. I put a lot of effort into raising and raising my daughter to be a good person. My little Lisa was not a burden. Now I am retired. Lizachka works and helps me. I am very proud of my daughter. I am very glad that I wasn't afraid of the difficulties and didn't give up on her. I was able to raise her to be a good person and a wonderful daughter.